All right, shalom, wam, shalom, wam to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, call halal, wa kabad, al Yahweh, ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise and all glory unto the heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, ba Hashem, rechakwadash. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to my apostles and my elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to my fellow Akim, pushing the word and true faith and sincerity across the four corners. And shalom to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men in Doctrine Great Millstone. It's a brother you died from GMS Atlanta Church. Um, coming with the lesson through the spirit. And it's entitled, The Earth The Earth Will Know Peace After World War After World War Three. Okay? The Earth Will Know Peace After World War Three. Because um, you know, since uh the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Uh, pursuant to Job uh, 924, uh, the wicked being a nation of Edom, which is the so-called white race, um, the world is known uh, 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 is the world has been in a constant state of uh, of war, man. You know, but um, pursuant to biblical prophecy, um, this this next and greatest war that the that the earth will see, um, which will be deemed World War Three will be the last um great conflict on the earth and after that after that um the world will, will be at peace man under under the 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 the, the rulership um of the nation of israel beginning with our lord and savior yahweh shah the one who the world ignorantly called jesus christ you know and um the governing body uh uh underneath them the world will be in a state of peace man in which the world will no longer know war man okay so i'm gonna get a few precepts and i hope you're edified through the spirit and power of yahweh Bashim, yahweh shai Okay, so I'm going to start off in Revelation, the 11th chapter, Revelation 11 and verse um, 14. And it reads, the second woe was passed and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Okay, and the second woe um, being World War Three that ended in the um, 1940s. Okay, that was the second woe. Okay, woe going into destruction. Okay, and it says, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly because, um, you know, you had World War One. In the night in the 19 teens um you know going to the 1920s i believe um then you had um world war ii beginning in the early 1940s and uh ending in the mid 1940s then you had other conflicts the korean war vietnam um uh the persian gulf war now you have the um the so-called war on terror war on terror in the middle east in which those were um you know smaller proxy wars after world war ii but um, once again, pursuant to biblical prophecy, okay, uh, uh, there's a third world that's coming quickly. And uh, like I said, you had the proxy wars or smaller uh, battles and wars um, uh, after World War II, okay. But um, you know, even with the 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 what was deemed the Cold War, the Cold War, as far as you know, the space race, okay, and the um, the the race to develop uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction, so to speak. Uh, that's been ongoing ever since uh, the conclusion of the uh, Second World, World War. Okay, and that's all through, um, that's all through uh, the 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 wishes and directive of the Heavenly Father, the one who the world ignorantly calls uh, uh, God, whose true and proper name is Yahweh. Okay, um, from there we're gonna go into, and this isn't gonna be a long lesson, uh, I believe, through the Spirit. It's gonna be pretty short, you know. And a lot of precepts we are familiar with once again, but we're just bringing it out because, um, you know, as our priest, the priest in our camp, to Zion one uh, uh, often speaks about, you know, we have to push these prophecies and push this energy out here because through us pushing this prof these prophecies and pushing this energy out, that's what's going to actually bring these prophecies to pass, man. Okay, so this is Jeremiah 28. I'm going to start at verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms and of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. So this is um, um, a heritage in, in which we're continuing to walk in. OK, um, continuing on verse nine, the prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, have truly sent him. Okay, so there's there's the, the another example of duality in the scriptures, man. Okay, where it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, in which that's what we do. Okay, we prophesy against many uh, many countries. Okay, and against 
against great kingdoms in which the, the the main country and kingdom that we're prophesying against right now okay is babylon the great also known as a uh, uh, sodom and egypt in the scriptures okay and um and also known as america man okay that's the the great that's the the country in particular at this point in time and great kingdom in which we're prophesying against man okay of war and of evil and of pestilence so of war okay in which you know once again pursuant to revelation 11 and 14 okay we're prophesying that world war three is uh, uh um quickly approaching is around the corner man okay and we we already have the the beginning stages of it okay through um once again the continued proxy wars okay the um the different um insurgent forces in which are are, are uh in um and um infer insurgent and um and cells okay and cells that are planted throughout the world okay and, and america's not the only country doing this you have other major countries doing this as well man okay um you know the, the uh russia okay uh um china okay uh um uh, the, the England, the UK, okay, are known to um, plant, you know, uh, sleeper, sleeper cells in other countries, man, okay, that's so you have counterintelligence, man, okay, um, of war and of evil and of pestilence, so these are all things that are, that are uh, prophesied through the Holy Scriptures to come, man, war, evil, and pestilence, okay, uh, evil being bad times and pestilence, uh, in particular being uh, diseases, man, okay, but continuing on, and that's what this lesson, this is the main point in which this lesson is based around, that the earth will know peace after World War Three. okay, and this is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 9, the prophet which prophesied for peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, so we're also saying that peace will come after World War Three, man, after World War Three. Um, the earth will uh, no longer need to know of war, man, because um, <clears throat> because uh, the those who were created to rule and regulate everything that was happened that happens on on the earth and uh, beyond the earth, man, will be in rulership. So there will be no longer a need for war. Okay, the prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord Yahweh Shai have truly sent him. Okay, in which yes, we prophesy against um, uh, uh, many countries and against great kingdoms. Okay, of these uh, evil and bad things, so to speak. Okay, but we also prophesy uh, of peace, man, in which yeah. There will be peace, but there won't be peace until there's a the the war to end all war, so to speak. Okay, and um, I'm gonna get a few more scriptures. Um, Isaiah, Isaiah nine, and then we'll start at verse six. Isaiah nine and six. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And this is uh, gonna this is speaking about. Um, World War Three, okay, in which this goes to show you that this is the Holy Scriptures are a prophetic book, man, okay, because, um, you know, uh, Isaiah with who who prophesied in um the Babylonian kingdom, okay, is uh speaking about now about things that are, that are, are are still to come to pass, man, okay, which this um this this specific battle in which isaiah is ultimately alluding to is going to be war war three man okay because once again prior to you know these modern day uh battles and wars you know warfare was fought on a completely different um in a completely different way man okay you had swords you know you had a uh, uh, battle axes you had shields okay in which now you know things have progressed into you know cannons and um uh, guns and, and and now even planes, drones, okay, uh, you know, high high capacity uh, type of guns and artillery, artillery, okay, uh, uh, chemical warfare. Now things have, um, you know, moved forward and advanced very very rapidly. In which uh, ultimately World War Three was going to be ended uh, with with the, uh, the 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 burning and fuel of fire through the, those ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, in which millions and millions and millions of missiles will be dropped on America or Babylon the Great, okay, because that's ultimately going to be the judgment for this land, for all this treachery and for the way that it mistreated the children of Israel, okay, which are the so-called uh, Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and also the Israelite foreigners that are in America and also spread abroad, man, okay, and this is Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us, and speaking about Israel, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. Okay, and that government is being established right now. Okay, through um, through the men that you see um, on the highways and byways. Okay, prophesying 
um, uh, the uh, bringing forth the prophecies and uh, prophecies and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Thy Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Okay, and that goes into um also goes into Genesis the 49th chapter. Okay, for the essence of time, I'm not going to get that, but it's speaking about the gathering being unto Judah until Shiloh come. And that Shiloh that the Scriptures uh, were prophesying about was uh, Yahweh Shai, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? And I'm going to jump back a few verses, uh, for a few chapters in Isaiah, and I'm going to close it out. I'm going to go to Isaiah 2. Uh, I'm going to start at the top. Isaiah 2 and 1. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, in which Judah and Jerusalem symbolizes the southern and northern kingdom, Judah being a... Uh, uh, um, Symbolizing the, the southern kingdom, which consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and Jerusalem. Okay, um, symbolizing uh, uh, the northern kingdom. Okay, the other um, uh, nine tribes. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's Yahweh Shai house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it okay and this and and the establishment of these um of this government okay of the lord yahweh yahweh shai is being established now and which like i said you know uh, what the world is seeing if it recognizes it recognizes it or not is the um the 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 rising up of the hundred and forty four thousand elect men of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, in which there's twelve twelve thousand from each tribe, and you can read about that in Revelation the seventh chapter, man. Okay, and this government that's being established is going to be uh, going to rise above all um, other nations, man. All of the governments, all of the structures, because that's the governing body that's chosen, okay, with, through the men um, elected and ordained to be a. Uh, uh, um, the uh, the elite class, so to speak, of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to be joint heirs with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Uh, Isaiah two and three, and many people shall go and say, "Come ye and come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob, and He will teach us His ways, and we will walk in His paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai from Jerusalem, and and, and you know." That's beginning now. The beginning stages of that has already occurred in which, you know, you have um, even with Great Millstone, we have the uh, the apostles and the elders in which, you know, for those who are uh, in the know, so to speak, it can actually uh, discern, OK, who the Holy Spirit is working with is working through those men, man. OK. And uh, ultimately, when our Lord and Savior uh, returns, OK, and saves uh, us, Lord willing, from the south, uh, from the destruction in which um, is a, a, a prophesied and will come to pass. Okay, uh, that law is going to go forth out of Zion, man. It's going to it's going to begin with our Lord, our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, King David. Okay, and then the um, the the government that's going to be established. Okay, uh, uh, throughout the tribes. Okay, um, Isaiah two and four, and he shall judge among the nations. And shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation; neither shall they learn war any more. And once again, that's coming. That's coming through the establishment of uh, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. Okay. And like I said to uh, wrap this lesson up, this is going to be when the earth will know peace. It's going to be after World War Three, because that's the Lord's determination: is to gather the nations, okay, to uh, uh, bring upon bring upon them. His righteous indignation, his righteous uh, anger because of the, once again, because of the mistreatment of his people, man. Okay, because, yeah, we transgressed and we uh, we didn't uh, uh, obey, okay, our Lord, or our, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay, but uh, um, uh, the heathens, you know, um, uh, pushed forth, you know, and prolonged um, the sufferings of his chosen people, man. And, and you know, like I said, Yahweh Shai is going to gather the nations and ultimately judge them, okay? But after um, after the, the devastation that's going to come uh, prior to, during, and after uh, World War Three, after that, it's going to be the uh, establishment of the kingdom of heaven in which this prophecy in Isaiah 2 and 4 is going to come to pass, man, okay? In which... The nations are gonna are gonna uh, beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks, man. Because at that point, it's gonna be time for uh, um, the 
the the building process of the kingdom of heaven, which is for the Israelites, man. Okay, it's for it's for the Israelites. Okay, and then um, and then after the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, the earth will be at, at, at rest, man. It'll be at peace. Okay, and the Lord and the earth and and the inhabitants of the earth won't have a need to go into uh, uh go into war anymore, man. It's the earth's gonna know peace, man. Okay, so I hope and pray the lesson was edifying. Once again, call halalim wakabad al yahweh by Hashem yahweh shai. All praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechak in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors to my brothers pushing the word in true faith to see across the four corners. And Shalom to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men in Doctrine of Great Millstone. Lord willing, you are edified. Until next time, Shalom.